today I'm previewing and predicting number 23 Louisiana versus number 21 Texas. This prediction is part of Horn Sports' Longhorns coverage. We appreciate all of your support. So to begin, I got some game info for you guys. The game will be held on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. The game will be at Daryl K. Texas Royal Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas, obviously. And the game will be televised on Fox. Currently, the Longhorns are favored by about seven or eight points. Now to begin, I got our scouting report. What to know about the Raging Cajuns is that their star player is Levi Lewis at quarterback. Last season, he passed for just over 2,000 yards and 19 touchdowns. But the thing to note about that Raging Cajuns offense is what they really relied on last year was a rushing attack, but they lost their two top rushers due to graduation. So now Chris Smith, the sophomore, is going to have to step up and have a great game in order to give Louisiana a chance against the Longhorns. Also worth noting for the Raging Cajuns is that their defense is pretty stacked. Players to note, linebacker Lorenzo McCaskill, linebacker Farad Gardner, defensive line Zion Hill, they all lead the way in that front seven, which is something to watch out for. But overall, even more importantly maybe, is that Billy Napier's squad is returning 20, and I said 20 starters on his team on offense and in defense in total, which might be the best in the country. I could be wrong there, but they're definitely almost by themselves in that place. Now the X factors for the Longhorns, I have Bajon Robinson and the defensive line for Texas. Bijan's going to have to have a great game in order for the Longhorns to win, obviously. He's got Heisman hopes heading into this season. Now with Sarkeesian naming Hudson Card as a starting quarterback and Casey Thompson probably going to get a little bit sprinkled in there. Bijan's really going to have to be just on his A game in order to give Hudson a little break and relieve some pressure off of him because I'm sure Louisiana is going to be stacking the box. So it's going to be a challenge for Robinson, but overall he's got to get it done. And then looking at Texas' defensive line, you guys know the names on that defensive line. you got Keandre Coburn, Tavondre Sweat, Moro Ajomo, and Alfred Collins. And then you also got Jacoby Jones in there too. They are all going to have to eat against Louisiana. As I said, they like to run the ball, but they lost their two top rushers. So the t Texas defensive front is honestly just going to have to make it hard for Chris Smith to get any running lanes and also try to force... Levi Jones to make some bad passes. He's not the greatest passer in the world, so it's definitely possible to force some interceptions if they can get some pressure on there. But you're going to have to leave that to Snacks Coburn in order to happen. And then the danger level I have for this game, I'm giving it a 6. Louisiana is a top 25 team, but they aren't Oklahoma. They can beat the Longhorns, don't get me wrong here. But 6 is pretty sizable for me on the danger level. And it's a Billy Napier squad. If he beats the Longhorns, obviously he makes his name in the coaching search a little bit better. Apparently last year he turned down Power 5 coaching offers to return to Louisiana, which just shows you that maybe he's trying to gear up here to make the big jump at that Power 5 level in the near future. My prediction, I have Texas winning 34-24. to 24. Honestly, this is going to be a big chance for Bijan to make his name at the national stage. He did have decent numbers last year. He rushed for over 700 yards, but it only came, or the majority of it, I should say, came in about three games, and especially towards the end of the season. This is gonna be probably a nationally televised game. Like I said, it's on Fox. Robinson has a chance to really get that NIL money, if you will. And then Hudson Card is also gonna to have to be efficient with the football. I doubt Sarkeesian's going to ask too much of Card, although I think Card has the throwing ability to make the plays. I think week one, it's going to be pretty vanilla for the Longhorns in terms of what he's asked to do, but I could be wrong. But overall, just no turnovers. Get your couple touchdowns here and there, but no interceptions. Now, what do you guys think about this opener for the Longhorns? What are your predictions? Let us know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.